Good morning guys and um, welcome back to the Sullivan family on this very sunny, very windy, very rainy, very bit of everything kind of day. <laughs> Wednesday. How are you doing Princess? How are you doing? How are you doing Jojo? Good. Do you want to try and go out for a walk later? Yeah. Do you want to go out for a walk later, shall we? Yeah. I think we should. If we get a break in the weather, I mean, it's sunny at the moment, but it was very, very rainy this morning. And um, we'll go out for a walk, shall we? You coming out for a walk? Uh, huh? You coming out for a walk? Yeah. Hmm? Yeah? Okay, okay, everybody. We'll say, say hello to everybody. Hello. All right, I'm just going to have a chat with them. Is that okay? I'm just going to have a chat a minute. You go back in the lounge. Go back in the lounge. I'll see you in a minute, darling. All right. Bless her and him. So it's Wednesday. Uh, what is going on today, you ask? Well, the school run is done. Um, I've got a joiner coming around to look at the decking for some reason. I think it's all uh, follow-on works for the sewage because there's problems with the sewage, to not just to this property, but all the way up, which they've now found because obviously I've been calling it in, 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 so we've been getting quite a few blockages because um, we're at the end of the line. Um, and subsequently... After digging up our garden and everything, they found um, for problems further along. So we've got a joiner come around to look at the decking. I think they want to lift some of the decking. I don't know. Anyway, I'm sure I'll find out later. But on top of that, can I just say thank you to everybody that has supported our Cash for Kids. We are at 1,245. We're doing really, really well. Amazingly well. Obviously, hit or smashed our target. But now our next target is two grand, so that'd be absolutely amazing. Um, but we've decided, as you've probably seen from our social media, that the next challenge we're going to do is the pizza challenge. And the kids are really, really excited. So we are going to be going next Saturday. I'm going to find out what date that is, actually, because I was I was doing a short about it earlier. Because my date's all to pop at the moment. 27th and 28th. It's a bit noisy in here. So I'll go back over here. So the 27th and 28th, so that's the Saturday and Sunday, we are going to be doing the Cash for Kids Challenge. So that's going to be, we're going to go out shopping on the Saturday. The little ones can't wait. So we're going to go shopping on the Saturday to Tesco's to get all the ingredients to make the dough and everything, which we're going to be making. We'll make the dough on Saturday and then we'll let that rest and keep it in the fridge. This is all Isabel. It's all Isabel, what she's told me what we're going to do. So we'll make the dough on Saturday, we'll let it rest in the fridge, then we'll, we'll also buy all the bits and bobs to go on top of the pizzas, the sauce and everything else. And plus, we're going to be making Agnes a chocolate pizza, a vegan chocolate pizza, so it's all going to be dairy-free because she doesn't actually like cheese, uh, the taste of cheese or anything like that. So, so we'll make her a chocolate pizza, which will be fun for her, and so she can join in, but the kids are over the moon. So Sunday, we'll be actually doing the challenge of making the pizzas so they can choose their toppings and we'll chuck them in the oven and all that kind of stuff which will be great fun. I can't wait. Because <laughs> the, the thing is, right, um, we love all of your ideas, but sometimes it's the ones that we can like do together with the little ones and everything. They're such fun to do as well. They're real fun. And that's the most important thing is to have fun um, while we do it. And the little ones have fun and everything else and it makes it really special. So it's going to be great fun. I can't wait till we start filming it next week. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, there'll be some great vlogs. I'm sure there'll be some great vlogs. So yeah, uh, I know Zoe's going to have a good old nap with you today. Um, so I won't say too much more. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to take my hat and my coat off. I'm going to have a coffee and get on with the day. Good morning, everybody. That's what my bed currently looks like. Washing and the cat who, yeah, was upstairs the other side and has now come down into my washing. So today is, I don't have gone out, it's Elizabeth's birthday today. So she is 19 today which is impossible because I'm literally like 25. So I don't know how that happened. Um, 
I don't quite know how she got to 19, to be honest. Obviously, older ones' birthdays, very different to younger ones' birthdays. Um, Lizzie doesn't really like a lot of fuss either. So, <clears throat> all the little ones made her a card, but she actually wasn't up <laughs> before they went to school this morning. So I put her presents out. Um, we did balloons and all those sorts of things, um, which the little ones loved this morning. But whereas with the little ones, we'll lay out all their presents. Obviously, the older ones are a bit different because quite often they're not up at that time in the morning. She hasn't got college today, so she's at home, which well, is actually just nipped out with Ben to go to town. But she was at home. So after they'd all gone to school this morning, I laid her presents out on in the kitchen so that she could have them when she came down to be honest um she actually wanted an art book uh, uh not an art book but a um she collects like uh animation uh but i can't think of what the word i'm looking for so um like screen i can't think of the word the animation um designs books from films and stuff I know there's an actual word for it, but my mind has just gone blank. So she, um, the, basically the artwork from from films and stuff that she loves. She, and games as well, because that's what she's into. So she collects those sorts of books and she's actually got one on order, which we ordered back in January, but it's not here until like June, but she knew that anyway. She wanted to pre-order it before it sold out because it's like a limited edition thing. So that was kind of one of her main presents and the rest, um, we gave her money for the rest of it. So that's kind of what it's like when you're like 18, 19, isn't it? You just, you know, you don't get lots of gifts anymore. You get um, money, really. I did buy her like, you know, some bits and pieces, chocolate and sweets and just stuff like that. Little bits and pieces um but yeah she's just nipped out with ben so she is 19 today which just seems crazy it just seems absolutely crazy i can't i just can't get my head around her being 19 because a minute ago she was two like florence and now she's not and it just it just goes so fast and i know when the when you have little ones and people say oh you know blink and you miss it and you know it'll go really fast and you kind of think when you're in the depths of four under three you think really but it really does it really does and I think for me now with the younger ones especially um it kind of almost makes you cherish that time a little bit more like when when we had the old ones not that I didn't enjoy the time we had with them but what I mean is when you're knee deep in nappies and lots and lots of little ones we had or just one or two little ones when we had just little ones um I mean we had like I said we had four under three at one point and you just think you know it's 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 hard work it can be really hard work I mean it's great it's rewarding it's this we wouldn't have done it if we didn't want to want to and it's wonderful but there are days when you just think oh my god you know this is a lot and am I doing it right and you know you're just constantly thinking you're getting it wrong and you want to be better and all those sorts of things and then all of a sudden they're grown up and you just have to hope that you kind of got it right but I think because now oh, the cat's coming you know how fast it goes it kind of almost makes you I want time to slow down a little bit with the younger ones because it just just goes so fast anybody with older ones and younger ones will or with older ones will know what i mean in that it just it's hard sometimes when you're in the younger ones phase to cherish every moment like people tell you to because some days are you know and you've got toddlers and screaming tantrums and all of that it can be really difficult but yeah, do cherish it because it goes really, really fast. Really, really too fast. Um, and that's what I mean as well when I say it makes us, it's made us like different parents probably now than we were when the older ones were little because we've seen that other side. You know, we've seen the, the teenage years and the um, 
how fast they grow and it does make you not get so upset about the little things you know the tantrums and all those sorts of things they don't seem half as bad when you're going through it for like with Florence now than maybe it did when Lizzie was small because you're worried that you're getting things wrong and you're not you know you're not you just it's just part of them growing so many things that you think must be your fault when they're small you know you're the why are they having this tantrum why are they doing this why are they why have they not reached that milestone why are they not doing this you blame it all on yourself but yet you realize that it's just part of growing up that's just they'll get there when they get there and it's just all part of growing and you don't maybe I'm not I mean the girls the girls especially now say you know you're not half as strict on the little ones as you were on us and it's true but then I think I don't need to be anymore because I I kind of you always feel I know I always felt with the older ones that I was always being judged I felt like I was being judged all the time I felt like I had to live up to certain expectations and now I just want to enjoy my children because they're our children and they're not small for long and I don't want to live up to anybody else's expectations. I just want them to be happy and everything we do is for them. So, you know, and that's what's important. Anyway, I'll be back in a minute. The cat's now moved to the sunlight. I mean, you, you moved to the sunshine. No, you can't come and sit on my knee because I'm getting up again. I know you want to come and sit on my legs. But I'll be there all day with you and I can't. I've got things to do. I have. And you're sitting in the sunshine. He always likes to find a little sunny spot. Yeah, you do. And sit in the sunny spot. Don't you? Look, I lie in the sunny spot. You're so beautiful. Um, so, we have had a little bit of a... Obviously, we've lived here since last August. Um, moving house is probably one of the most stressful things I've ever done in my life, ever. And this time round, it was even more stressful. Um, there's still a lot of things that we haven't done, that we haven't sorted um, in the house. And on top of that, it's just normal day-to-day -day living with 14 people in a house. So, you know, it's always messy. I try my best. It's it's clean underneath, but you know it's there's a lot of people living in that house. There's always stuff everywhere. Um, it's never going to look like a perfect show home because it's not, and that's fine. So, one of the areas, or a couple of the areas that have been um, bugging us is we've got like dressing up stuff out on the landing. Um, I want to put a mirror in at the end because we don't have a mirror upstairs. So I want to put a mirror in. And when we were in the old house, we had all the kids dressing up stuff in, um, in like ottomans on the on the stairs, and then the ottomans kind of broke, and the top the lids broke, and we're digging everybody in the legs every time they walk past them. So we decided to put all the dressing up stuff into drawers. So we've got like plastic drawers sets that fitted fine in the old house. I would show you, but it's a mess. So I'm not going to show you. It's I'm down there. It's a mess. Um, it's just become a dumping ground. So we put all the dressing up stuff into the plastic boxes, plastic drawers, because I thought, number one, it'll be easier for the little ones to get to if it's all kind of divided. And number two, it'll look neater. Well, fast forward to this house. They don't really fit. They kind of get in the way. Um, and in actual fact, we managed to fit more in two Ottomans than we do in four drawer units. So, it's been annoying me for ages. We're going to have a bit of a move around again. So, the stairs area, and obviously on the middle stairs used to be the bookcase, but we moved that downstairs. We're going to have a complete revamp, mainly so we can have a mirror at the top end, so we can kind of use that bit, because there's nowhere to kind of stand for anybody to sort of... We've got one mirror downstairs, big full-length one, but it's right. you have to stand right close to it. So... The idea is we're going to move the dressing up stuff back into an ottoman and have a little hanging rail for which we've already got, which was one of the <clears throat> original plans we were going to do. Have a little hanging rail for like some of the, um, like make it like a dressing up area. So like, because Florence likes to dress up and so does Agnes still and the twins sometimes, although they're getting a little bit older. 
Um, Joseph doesn't like dressing up very much. He's got a Spider-Man suit and he will wear it occasionally, but he's not into dressing up. A bit like Toby, he hated it and he still does. Um, always hated it. I think we managed to get him to dress up like twice and no more. Um, but the other ones love it. So we're gonna like hang a few bits on the hanging rail and then have an ottoman with the rest of it on the middle landing. So at the moment, the food stuff is on the middle landing um, because it doesn't get played with as much, but Florence does really like playing with the food stuff and she is getting more and more into it. She likes to play tea sets. It's one of her favorite things to do. So we're gonna move that back downstairs where the bookcase is at the moment. Now the bookcase is the one that I bought secondhand and I love it, but it does take up a lot of space for what it is. So we're gonna go back to basics and we're just gonna get some basic bookcases and have them at the top of the stairs, which was my original plan when we moved in, but it didn't work with the bookcase that we had. Are you keeping up? Because this is, this is long. So the books will be back upstairs, which will take up less space, mean they've all got books upstairs as well as downstairs. Now I know a lot of people have said to me in the past, oh, you don't need books. I love books. I love books. I love the kids having access to books. I just love books. I don't get half as much time as I would like to read. I love books. Um, I just like having, there's so many things nowadays that you can't touch, you know, that you've got the iPad, you've got screen time, you've got TV, all of that sort of stuff. I like, I know you can read on a Kindle, all of that. I personally, for me, I don't like it. I like to have a book in my hand and I like the kids to be able to have access to any books they want. Um, so we're going to have the bookcases back upstairs and dressing up area on the middle stairs food stuff back downstairs and hope that that works. We also used to quite like having an ottoman on the middle bit because people used to sit on it as they went up the stairs, just a place to sit. So I'm hoping that that's going to work, but obviously it's going to take a little bit of time because there's a lot of stuff to move around. So this is kind of home improvements again. We're going to be improving for a long time because there's lots of things when you move into a house that you put places that don't work and you've lived with them for a while. I've said this before. You're like a bit like in this room, I and mean, it's only really now coming together. This the girls' room, monkey hanging at the top. We've still got shelves and stuff to do for in here, but this room now feels like a bedroom, whereas before it just didn't. It takes a while. Um, so anyway, that is the plan. So I've got to order some bits from Amazon. Um, I also have some sheen stuff coming soon, so that'll be a, a couple of sheen hauls as well for some summer stuff for the girls for the little ones um i would have done you a haul for the stuff i bought for noah but he had it out the bag and was wearing it before i could even show you but he's a boy and it basically consisted of north face stuff um you know what they're like and socks nike socks uh so yeah i think i've updated you pretty much so yeah I mean, it's a bit of a weird day today. We've got, obviously got dancing, the kids are at school, Lizzie's birthday. She was going to go out for lunch, but I think she's not now. Um, we are going to have pizza dominoes on Friday night for her birthday. She does actually have a lot of college work to do, so she's not going to go off and do too much today. Because even though it's her birthday, she's still got deadlines, unfortunately. Um, but she she's having a little bit of downtime today, but then I'm sure she'll be back on it again later it's just the way it is when you get older isn't it unfortunately it's never as much fun um so yeah we will celebrate properly on friday friday evening with a pizza the baby is not happy she needs a nap um so that's it i'm gonna go and clean the bathroom put some makeup on and get started
can't sleep. I know to. What's the sound of me? Should we walk up this way a little bit? Okay, okay you're going to wash your hands off. Is it nice and warm that water? Yeah. Is it? Is it nice and warm? Warm. 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 Come on, JJ. I was washing my hands. There's more water up here. Water to get over here. Okay. I have to. Okay. Ew. That's what they're worms, look. That's a grey worm. They're worms. It's grey. The water. Come on, let's grey. keep walking up for a bit further. Can we walk up here? Yeah. Oh. Come on, Florence. Good job. Have you got your stick? Have you got your stick? Yeah, stick. Okay, good girl. Come up here then. I got a stick. Come up here with Daddy. Have you got your stick? Have you? It's actually, it's actually seaweed. So it's something called kelp. Yeah, it's seaweed. That's what that is. You've got. Come on, Florence. Up this way, darling. Let's go on the sand. Look. We'll play on the sand for a minute. How you doing guys? I don't know if you've noticed but we're down the beach. It's absolutely stunning today. Stunning. Yes Joseph, it's stunning today. I've got no other words. Still a little bit windy. But the wind seems to have died down a little bit since. Just thought I'd come down to the beach for 45 minutes with these two little monkeys before I go and pick the others up from school. That's stunning. It's so nice, in fact. I think the primary school were out just a minute ago doing something up there. In fact, they're still there. Where go primary school? And why not? When this is on your doorstep, why not? It's absolutely stunning today. Had to get, I couldn't really get Joseph out yesterday because the weather was so bad. Uh, and the weather was pants this morning. I thought it was going to be really bad today, but it's, it's totally brightened up. So it's like, out, let's go. We've had lunch, let's go out. Let's go and get an hour in the fresh air. It's absolutely stunning. Hope you enjoy our walks just as much as we do, honestly. I hope I capture it enough. It's, it's almost, sometimes it's hard to capture it all, isn't it? Because it's all so nice. But there you go, an afternoon trip to the beach. A big one.
geese. Right guys, it's gone two o'clock, so I'm gonna have to get these two home, but it's been absolutely fantastic down the beach today. Love it when we can get out, honestly. I love it. it makes it just a smile on my face. See you back at home. Right, I think it's like six o'clock. Actually, it's not. It's about seven o'clock. Um, we've gone back to uh, crazy dance nights again, basically. Um, the so I just where I just like drive around. Actually, it's not just dance nights. It's it's just normal evenings where people are out and you have a little bit of a reprieve over the holidays. Um, and then we're back full force into people being dotted about all over the place. So um, Noah had badminton after school. He's gone to a friend's house uh, until later. Because <clears throat> obviously they all go to school in Lossie, the older ones. Um, the girls have had dancing. So I took the four of them over, brought the little ones back. Have gone back over to pick them up from Elgin. Take them through to Lossie because they dance in two places. Um gone to pick Noah up but um he's actually just he's gonna stay a bit longer so I'm gonna pick him up later when I go back through I've got a pick are you keeping up um <clears throat> I've got I'm just come home for 10 minutes before I've got to go back out to um pick Isabel up go and do some shopping then go back and pick Noah and um Olivia up and then I can come home um let's notice those little marks on my face if anybody's got any tips by the way, for I'm looking for some skin care stuff. Um, I'm quite lucky that I've got quite good skin and I've never really worn very much makeup, but I don't ever put any creams or anything on my face because I've got really sensitive skin and my skin can get a bit oily if I put sort of like creams or anything on it. I use a, sim I've spoken before actually, I use a simple um, age regeneration face wash and that's pretty much all I use on my face. But I've started to notice just a few. I did have a, I have got a number seven, actually. Um, I think it's number seven, like serum thing, just specifically for wrinkly bits, wrinkles like this one here, um, which is like a night one that you put on. Um, if anyone's got any tips or any good brands, because it's a minefield, I've been looking up, obviously, for older skin, um, I've just noticed that I've started to get a few sort of freckly, I don't want to say age spots because I'm only 25. I've said this already. Um, but yeah, just I feel like I should be using something else on my skin and I'm not really sure where to start. Again, with makeup, if anybody's got any tips of um, good makeup that is just like something really light foundation wise because i don't really like wearing foundation all that much but sometimes it's nice to put something on so if anyone's got any tips of any really light um it's got to be for really sensitive skin it's got to be quite light because i don't like it feeling like cakey um any good products um that anybody uses any tips would be great any brands that i can have a look at because when you start looking it's a minefield um, as I'm finding out. So if anyone's got any good things that they think might be good, let me know. Um, yeah, so I'm literally going in for about half an hour and then I've got to go back out again. It's madness. It's Wednesday night madness. That's what it is. It is Wednesday night madness. I'm going to go in and get a drink, see how Ben's getting on before I go back out again. Okay, guys, it's seven o'clock. I've just finished bathing all the kids and Zoe's nipped home a minute. I've literally it's, just... It's, I've, I'm just... I've just grabbed and said, right, we need to finish the vlog. She's been out and about since, well, before tea, haven't you? You've been out and about because it's, it's crazy dance night. Hours. It's crazy dance night, isn't it? She's just driving around, picking people up, picking people up. I've even got... Oh, no, I've got rid of the stain on my T-shirt. <laughs> I've got the stain on my T-shirt. I've been walking around with the stain down my front. Oh, crazy Wednesdays. We're back on, we're back on crazy Wednesday. We had two, week, two weeks off. We're back on it again. Um, yeah, everybody's bathed. 
Everybody's got the jammers on. Not everybody, obviously. The little I ones. I've not got my jammers on yet. <laughs> just the little ones because i actually have to go to the and supermarket so they, I can't. they're literally going to go to bed in about five minutes when i finish this little bit of video uh so that's it guys that's wednesday done uh thursday tomorrow oh no we're not vlogging tomorrow because we've got friday live haven't we so it's not vlogging tomorrow we've got friday live yes that's what we do so it's friday live and then obviously we'll be vlogging on friday so there'll be a vlog vlog tomorrow are you trying to get that straight in your head? I am. I'm, just, I'm not. I'm trying to get it straight in my head. So there's a vlog tomorrow. It's Wednesday. This goes it's out on Wednesday. Thursday. So this, this Thursday. goes out on Thursday. And then we'll we've got Friday, Friday Live. Yeah. And then Friday's goes out on Saturday. There we go. I've just, I've just sussed out my own head. There we go, guys. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video today. Please subscribe to our channel. Please hit the bell for notifications. Drop us a like. Don't forget our link to the video description below for all of our social media, our Facebook, our Instagram, the Leopard Fox Designs, and the charity homepage. And that just leaves us both to say, take care, guys. Thank you so much for your support, and we'll see you in the live.